Hi everybody. This particular video is for students who have completed the CITI training program. They have access to their two-page completion report. They are able to log themselves into the CITI website, but for whatever reason, they're unable to access the optional supplemental module entitled Students in Research. Let me show you how we're going to deal with that. First, let me remind you how to access that two-page completion report because you're going to need to submit that to me along with evidence that you completed the supplemental module. So after you log yourself into the CITI website, go ahead and click on My Records. Scroll down just a little bit and you should see a record for where you completed the basic course. Over here you have an option to view, print, or share your completion record. Click on that. Scroll down just a little bit and move over here to where it says Completion Report, View, Print. Click on that. Within your browser, you should see now your two-page completion report. That's one thing that you're going to need to submit to me. All browsers are different, but in this browser, if you click on this folder right here, you can save that PDF file to your hard drive so that you can submit it to me later. Okay, let me show you how you're going to access that supplemental optional module. The first thing that you need to do if you're currently logged into the CITI program is log yourself out. The reason you need to log yourself out is because we're going to need to create a new account for you so that you can access that supplemental module. I'll show you how to do that pretty quickly. Let me just start from the beginning. In order to find that CITI website, you can Google Ohio University CITI Training. That first link is probably going to be the one you need, so go ahead and click on Ohio University Training. On that Ohio University page, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a link to Collaborative Institutional Training Initiative, CITI. Click it. At this point, we want to register. Go ahead and select your organization affiliation. You can start typing in Ohio University, and you'll see an option come up for OU. Click it. Go ahead and check the box for I agree, and then also check the box that affirms you are an affiliate of Ohio University, and then click on Create a CITI Program Account. Remember, the system didn't cooperate with us initially. That's why you're creating a new account. You can still use your first name and last name, but I recommend that you use a different email address. So, go ahead and enter your first name. Enter your last name. And then enter an email address. Go ahead and verify that email address. There's no need to put in a secondary email address. Go ahead and continue to step three. In order to be able to log in and out of the CITI program using this new account, you're going to want to create a new username and password. So put in a username, and then enter a password and verify that password. Scroll down a little bit. Select a security question, such as what's your pet's name, and then provide an answer to that question. Then continue to step four. There's no reason to worry about an ORCID ID. List your country of residence. And then when CITI asks if they can contact you later with more information, I recommend that you put no. Then finalize your registration. Scroll down just a bit. You do not need continuing education credit, so click No and hit Submit. Scroll down just a little bit. For language preference, select English. Institutional email address. It's likely that you used your Ohio University email address when you registered for CITI long ago. That's why I recommend that you use a different email address this time. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. 
Now scroll down a little bit and fill out any other required information. Highest degree, for department, you can put psychology. For role, go ahead and select student researcher undergraduate. Scroll down. It forces you to list an office number. You can go ahead and put in 740-588-1000. Scroll down a bit and then click Next. At this time, I wish to take human subjects training required for IRB. You've already completed that, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. Go ahead and click Next. Select Group 2 and then click Next. Okay, now you're enrolled and you're registered. Go ahead and scroll down just a little bit. You'll see that a course is ready to begin. Click on Start Now. Scroll down a little bit and click that you agree to the terms. Click Submit. All right, let's stop and take a breath for a second. It says instructions, complete all 10 required modules. You do not need to do that. You've already done that. Remember, we're just trying to fool the system so that you have access to that additional module that you need. Go ahead and scroll down. You see these required modules that you have already completed. You do not need to complete these. Keep scrolling. Right here you see it says supplemental modules. And what we need is this module right here that says students in research. It might not be listed first on your screen. Just scroll down until you see it. Once you see it, click Start. That is the only module that you need to complete right now. Here's the good news. This is a great module. It's going to help refresh your memory about all the important research ethics material you learned previously. As you work through the module, at the very end, you'll have an opportunity to take a quiz. You'll want to take that quiz because you'll need to prove to me that you passed that quiz in order to get credit for this assignment. Once you complete that quiz for that optional supplemental module, Students in Research, you'll see a score listed in your gradebook. There's no completion report for these supplemental modules. So for you to prove to me that you've completed this module, I need you to take a screenshot of this grade. There are many ways to do that, and any way you do that is fine with me. If you're using a Windows-based computer, you can click on the Windows Start menu key, and then search for Snip, and then use the Snip and Sketch tool. That Snip and Sketch tool allows you to take a small screenshot and then save that as a JPEG file. You can then submit your two-page completion report as a PDF to me, and you can also attach to that a JPEG of your grade for this supplemental module. I took a screenshot of my grade, and it looks like this. And I was able to save that image as a JPEG file. As I mentioned, you'll submit to me your two-page completion report, and then along with that, you'll attach this JPEG file. The training is really quite interesting. It's very informative and it's necessary for you to conduct research in this class. So be sure to complete that training by the due date. If you have any questions, just let me know. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next video.